Welcome, welcome to the chaos. Now, I apologize for the way my voice sounds. I am a little bit sick. However, I feel really good. I just sound sick. So, I did not want to let that stop me from filming, especially because it's been so long since I've been in the chaos house. I cannot wait. If you haven't noticed, I added everyone and no one to this list. So we're going to see what that does. If we land on any of those, let's see who we're playing with today. It looks like it's going to be Annabeth. Okay. And now let's see what Annabeth is going to be doing. There are a lot of things on this list. Create a backyard maze. That sounds like so much fun, actually. Okay, but they do not have a huge backyard, I don't think. So let's jump in the game and we will figure out how Annabeth is going to do this. Okay, so here we are. Let's find, that's Tanya. This is Annabeth. Okay, Annabeth. First of all, girl, you got to pee. Already first thing this morning. So the last thing we did was we had to add talking toilets to all of the... All of the toilets had to become talking toilets, so we did that. Anyway, Annabeth has got to go to the bathroom. George Cahill has died, and Corey has gone to work. That's where we are right now. Let's Speaking of work, let's see what we have. She has work today in three hours, but she might be able to work from home, and if so, we're going to do that today. Brian and Jesse has to go to work soon. The kids should have to go to school. Yeah, the kids are going, it looks like, except for Holden. Holden, please go to school. All right, Annabeth is in here talking to Tanya. So I think this is going to have to be our maze area because this is where they come in and out of the house. Brian, what have you done out here? He is clearly a werewolf, and he has done something. This is the hot tub where Jesse's getting in right now. And we need to keep our pool, but we can get rid of this area out here and use this whole section as our maze area, I think. So I think we'll play with Tanya for most of the day. She needs to get a photography skill so we can start taking pictures of things. I think it just works by literally just saying, take a photo. Oh, not of a person. Okay, everybody it looks like has gone to school. Okay, that doesn't really matter to us. It's not supposed to, but I cannot handle it sometimes. So anyway, oh, she's come down here to this toilet. Is this one broken? Oh, look how sad she looks. Uh, all right, let's take a picture of something else. Although we're just standing in the bathroom. Can we get the... Let's uh, document the dirty laundry on the floor and the broken toilet. And then one more time, let's see how sad she is about life in general. Okay, great. Oh, Crystal is freezing to death. Crystal, please stop. Please don't do that. Crystal, um, can we call her over to us to get her to come inside? Okay, and then you can repair this. There we go. We're going to work from home today. Oh, and so what she needs to do is take photos. So that'd be great. Let's come in this room and take a photo. Why is she sad? From failing at the holiday. Listen, I was not controlling you during that holiday. I can't help it. How long does it take you to fix this toilet? Um, send alone. Holden, I do not care. Confront the new kid. Well, confess the mistake, Valerie. Um, ask the friend. I'm just going to pick whatever the top thing is. It's almost Roy's birthday? What? Okay, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. You're not going to cry in your bed. I mean, I will let you go to sleep in a second. But I want you to come down here and take a picture, please. Oh, my gosh. Okay, right here. Take a photo. I can clearly say that Brian has not gone to work, and I cannot help that. Okay, let's get the picture of these gnomes. Okay. And then this naked gnome. <laughs> you know how they take the mirrored picture of themselves? Well, that's her, but that's what she looks like when she's not taking the picture. Okay, what else? She's like, I like this painting on our wall. So there it is. Okay, did she do all of her stuff? Take photos of what? Wait, use the phone to find and use the photograph impression interaction to capture the moment. Okay, um, let me get these dishes down. That's gross. So what if she wants to capture this moment? Right here, photograph impression. Okay, let's do that real quick. Okay, she is taking a picture. Oh, she did it on her own like that. Okay, that counts as one. Girl, go ahead and come upstairs. Is this your bed? Yes, it is. Come up here and I guess before you go to sleep. 
Oh gosh, Valerie lost her tooth. Come up here. Oh, I hear Enzo. Enzo's in this bed being so gross, baby. Okay, girl. No, we cannot go to bed with Enzo looking like this. Come in here and we can at least... Oh my gosh, Brian. Get out of here with the baby. <gasps> Brian is going to handle the baby. Look at him. Brian, that's really sweet. Where are you going with him? He's going to give him a bath. Oh my gosh, Werewolf Brian might be my favorite. Okay, what is stinky right here? Just nothing in general? There's just a stink cloud in the floor? Oh, you got some seeds. Okay, I need you to take another impression. Get up, and let's try to do another impression. Okay, and then let's do one more, and then we're done with our work stuff, and you can go to sleep. Okay, great. She got $300 for taking three pictures of her walls. Oh gosh, our, our things are full out there. All right, it's sleeping time. Okay, we got the Enzo is very hungry because Brian did do a good job feeding him and then he changed his diaper, which was great, but then he just put him back in his crib. So we're going to feed him <laughs> and then let's take a picture of him. That might be nice. Oh, great. Our maid is doing that. Oh, Corey's home. Good. And all the kids are home from school. They all have C's because I never tell them to do their homework. So that's fine. Oh, Okay, I want to get a picture of baby Enzo and we're too close to him. Man, that's dumb. So she's like, okay, well, here's a window. I want to see what take a photo of means. How's she going to do that? Oh, she's just going to put him right on the floor. Girl, take a picture. You got him out. Okay, can you just take a photo then where you are? Or are you going to be too close to him? I'm sure you're too close to him. Wait, how am I in the ceiling? Look at him. He's right there. He's just under here. She's like, well, there's a baby right under me, but I'm too close to get the camera. My neck won't bend straight down. Girl, what's wrong with you? Go here. Now stop and take a picture. Here we go. Oh my gosh. We get a picture of her in the mirror again, but hopefully we get a picture of the baby now. Yeah, there's Enzo. All right, let's get one more picture of her. All right, let's look at these things. Her, her thing is going up. Girl, you got dirty clothes just in your laundry. I mean, in your pocket. She has 25 pictures, but let's put a picture of the baby at least in here in his room, maybe above his bed, if I can find them. Here we go. Wait, what? There we go. And look at her selfies that I just took of her. They both have gnomes in them. Really? This is her, though, without a gnome. And this is her being sad. In the thing. These are not good pictures. <laughs> Let's see if we can um, make the filter brighter. Isn't there a bright? I guess not. Uh, oh, bright, yeah. Oh, that's just a picture of the floor I took, not Enzo. I thought I got a picture of Enzo. Oh, that's the naked one. Okay. I guess I only took two pictures of him, but these are still cute. I mean, they're very bad quality, but they're still cute. All right, let's put a little black frame on it, and we'll leave it here for his dad, and we're just putting the rest of them back in our pocket. Okay, I think I've probably rolled Annabeth's number more than anybody else's. I know I said number, but I meant her name. She's hungry, so let's go downstairs and see about getting some food, see if maybe somebody down here wants their picture taken. Oh, we have to cook, babe. I'm not sure what level you are. She's level two. So let's just make a watermelon salad. Maybe that won't require any actual cooking and we won't set anything on fire. So let's see. Oh, Jesse is currently, oh my gosh, Jesse's dying. Jesse, Jesse came home from work early to die right in front of two of the children. Oh my gosh, my girl's inside still just cooking. Oh, look at them holding. I mean, Roy, first of all, is so disgusting and Fernanda, they're both just standing here watching Jesse die. Oh, here comes everybody else, including us. Annabeth is coming at some point, right? Oh my gosh, Jesse's burned out from work. Yeah, he's more than burned out, babe. Really, the cheerleading thing right at the same time? Oh my gosh, I can't, but I can put this in my inventory, okay. Corey is having a midlife crisis and he's scared of death. Oh my gosh, Corey. Okay, where is our other? Oh, here we go. 
Here is, what was her name? Britta? Bria. Okay. Let's put Jesse out here with Bria. Okay. There they go. Now, what time is it? No, it's still only 5.30. Oh, she needs to have some fun now. What'd you do with the food? Am I on the wrong level? Oh, no, there we go. Okay, good. Let's put this food away. Um, single and loving it. Brian got single and loving it. Oh, my gosh. Somebody has a plate that they started to throw away. I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator. It says normal grilled cheese. These plates are still disgusting. All right, let's see about going in here and watching some TV since... Oh, my gosh. We haven't set up our services yet. Yes, we have. Okay, now let's watch TV. No, girl, she's going upstairs to pick up a baby bottle. She's like, I need to clean up everything. Enzo's still on the bed up there. Corey, maybe... Oh, he's on the floor. Corey's going to get him, hopefully. Oh, she's going to go outside and remember Jesse. Girl. Oh, my gosh. I thought I told you to come watch TV. Wow, Tanya got promoted to junior tinkerer. Okay, Tanya, dang. That's Holden. Holden really needs to go to the bathroom. Go ahead, babe. Oh my gosh, they've been putting dishes up here. Maybe that is why they can't clean them up off the thing because anytime they put dishes up on top of things, they can't clean them. Tanya. Oh, there's a plate just floating. Let me just lay everything out and then people maybe can clean up. I don't see any more anywhere else. All right, her fun is pretty high. Let's just chat with Brian, who is apparently going to be just a werewolf all the time. I don't know. But it made her social go up a lot, which is nice. Oh, she said I wanted to offer my condolences. That's nice. I don't know her, though. Okay, it is Enzo's birthday. We have birthdays the next three days. So she is going to be making Enzo a cake. We're about to have a toddler in the house. I cannot believe it. She's super sad. She's got to go to the bathroom. And she's tired and ready to go to sleep. I don't even care. She's the oldest person in our house. And her birthday's tomorrow. She's becoming an elder tomorrow. Girl, also see if you can clean up all this crap after you make this cake. Wait, where'd the cake go? Oh my gosh, she put it on a shelf down here. I didn't even know that was possible. Add birthday candles. Let's add birthday candles first. Because you know how people are. They'll come in here and... Uh, Crystal has the perfect opportunity. Oh, I'm sorry. you got to prank them. Oh, Lord. She lost... Oh, she gained a mischief and lost a performance. Okay. Blow raspberry milestone unlocked Enzo. He's actually doing fantastic. He is adorable. Let's let her try to clean up a few of these dishes. Because I cannot handle looking at them. And then we'll get Enzo down here and age him up. Crystal's back from work. She made $40. Okay, Crystal. All right. She was able to clean up a lot of dishes. She didn't get the ones on the table, but she still got a lot of them. So we're going to have her. No, girl, do not pass out. I need you to get this baby, and then you can go to sleep, and I will build us a... Okay, get him downstairs. Look at his little butt. So dirty. Da. Da. He said. Okay, here he goes. Blowing out the candles. Oh my gosh. Hopple Borkna. There. He's independent. Yes. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. That means if we ever roll to play as Enzo, he will be able to go to the bathroom without us having to potty train him. So that's fantastic. Girl, let's not even worry about this cake. People are already coming to eat it. So let's just go upstairs and go to sleep. She's like, I will let her cry it out. Wait, who's up here haunting the shower? Please don't do that. Bria, you just broke the dang shower. Don't break the toilet. Oh, gosh. Enzo is destructive. It just popped up and said Enzo was a destructive toddler. Oh, my gosh. Bria broke the tub, and now she's in here cleaning it or trying to fix it. She's cleaning it, really. Okay, Enzo could not be cuter. I love it so much. Okay, she's got to try to fix Bria's mess, and then she's going to come in here. Never mind. She didn't even try. She was like, you know what? I'm done. Okay, so it's 2, almost 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to let her stay asleep, and we are going to come out here and do this. I'm probably just going to mute my microphone and work on this, and then I will come back. We're going to cut down the tree. We're going to move as much stuff as we can move because I don't want to get rid of all of it. Oh, maybe I'll put the baby pool in the middle of our maze. That seems like a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to sell some of this stuff out here, and then some of it I'm going to try to preserve. What is this? Somebody made a de-stressing de concoction situation. Okay, 
So I'll be back when I am done. So I don't know exactly. Let's see. This is what it'll look like during the day. But because of our wall that's set up there, it's definitely not very sunny over here. But anyway, it looks like the only way to get in is through here, first of all. And you can come around this way. And when you come around this way, you can see the pool. But if you go this way to try to get through it, it's just a dead end right there. So you have to come around this way to be able to actually get in it because that's where the entrance is is. So I am hoping that this will work. I didn't have a ton of space to work with, but I still like the way it looked. I tried to use a couple of different kinds of um, bushes or whatever, but keep them like I kept them, tried to keep them all about the same height. But when I had to size a few of them down, they're kind of lower than I would like them to be. But I still think that it would be very cool looking. And of course, it's not a maze where the hedges are super high, but I still, I like how it looks. So anyway, when the leaves aren't there, like I want to see what it looks like in the other, in the other seasons, but right now this is how it looks in fall. So let's get one of our little, no, the adults can do it. Okay. So let's get Annabeth. I know she thinks she's real tired, but. Let's get her to come out here and relax, lounge in this kiddie pool. Okay, I gotta figure out how to fix it in the future. She's finally gotten Enzo where she can take his picture and he's looking adorable. Can I make this? No, I cannot. Okay, let's get like a, a silly, there we go. Oh, she's passing out. I was gonna say, how high is her photography? Where are we, photography? Nope, she's not quite there yet, but she's so close. All right, girl, go ahead and pass out. I'm so sorry. Then come up here and go to sleep. All this, all this out here is a hot mess. Anyway, what you missed because I was not recording is she just walked straight through all of these and went straight into that pool. So I'm going to have to do something where I fix that part. Uh, I guess I'll have to put down the little walls to actually make it be walls. But anyway, we'll work on that next time we're in here. But I'm going to call this one completed and done. She's just going to go upstairs now and go to sleep until it is time for us to switch people at 7.45. I really need her to fix this toilet. So many people have come up here to go to the bathroom and they can't go to the bathroom because there is no toilet. And then you can go right back to sleep. Actually cry it out about Jesse and then go to sleep. I'm so sad that Jesse died. I think we only got to play him that one day that we had to do all the laundry in the house. I think that was it. Okay, good. The toilet's fixed. That's the only thing I was worried about. She's going to cry it out and go back to sleep. And our time with the Annabeth is up for today. I like our little hedge maze. I do have to fix it. Like I said, I've got to go in and add walls or whatever to it. Oh, that's a cat out there. I was like, what is in our yard? So... Anyway, I will be fixing that for next time. If you didn't know or if you missed the announcement, Chaos is going to be rotating on Sundays with Legacy. So next week will be a Legacy Challenge uh, video and then the next week will be Chaos back. So Chaos is going to be every two weeks for right now. And yeah, I think that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.